Hello, welcome to React, Angular and Node in-depth guide. You are just about to learn 3 amazing frameworks with over 75 hours of content and 390 lectures. This course is targeted to entry-level and advanced developers. The content is divided into 4 big sections, which can be watched in any order. First you are going to learn the basics of programming in Node.js, then you can decide which framework you want to start learning first, React.js or Angular, and program a real-world application connected to Mongo Atlas database. Now, let's take a look how the final application will look like. We will start very easily with Angular and React, in which we will create a layout of our application. I will explain to you how to create basic components, services and reusable code. Later we will implement routing and state management in our application. We will prepare registration and login forms with fully working validation on each input. A user will be able to register and login into the application. A logged in user will experience new features and changes in the user interface. After the authentication section, we will work on a functionality to create rental properties. Furthermore, we will work on a detail page of a rental property in which we will integrate third party TomTom API. We will implement a feature to display the location of a rental property on a map. Next, we will work on a core application functionality to book rental property for certain numbers of nights. We will integrate interesting features to our application, such as calendar for choosing range of dates, a model window to confirm bookings, and a toast component to display messages. After the booking section, we will take a look on the rental search functionality. We will search rentals by city. Later, we will work on a functionality to display user bookings, rentals and receive bookings with the option to remove them. Next, we will work on a very interesting feature to update rental properties. On the rental update feature, you will learn how to create powerful reusable components. After the update section, you will work on an interesting feature for an image upload. You will learn how to upload images to Cloudinary. Before uploading our image to Cloudinary, we will also take care of cropping and processing our image. There is much more covered in the lectures. I hope you like application we are going to work on and I hope to see you in the course.